Hey guys, it's Lukeman97. Welcome back to another video in World of Warships Blitz. And today we're actually looking at the Italian Premium Tier 5 battleship, the Giulio Cesare. And yeah, I promised this, I know, in the Canarius review that we did on Tuesday. But basically, uh, this thing is like one of the original Italian battleships that were in the game. I don't know if it was the first one, but the this stuff like the tech tree Italian battleships were added like not too long ago actually but I remember the Cesare was one of the original ones so as you can see here yeah so I don't know I know there was there was another battleship I don't know if, how long the Roma has been around but I know it's been around quite a while too I think the Cesare might be the original Italian battleship but I always remembered it were like one or two years ago when I played the game um, before the tech tree of battleships came I would remember the Cesare uh, being there and this thing actually has kind of a reputation in my mind I don't know about you guys but of being kind of mildly overpowered in its tier, because I would always look on the other team, and if there was a Cesare, I'd be like, oh no, that we're probably going to get smacked by it, and then i get smacked by it in battle, because this thing has crazy damages. And, yeah, so it's very OP, so I'm glad I finally own it. And, so, oh yeah, by the way, Giulio Cesare means Julius Caesar in Italian, I think, so, yeah. That's what that means. Anyways, as far as, let's look at this. So basically here, oh, that's that. Basically here, as you can see, it says that Giulio Cesare is actually from the Conte de Cavour class. So the Conte de Cavour is the tech line tier 5 battleship. And when we look at this, you're going to be like, but Luke, these things look nothing alike. Look at the tall stacks and mass the de Cavour has. And and the extra turret in the center. That's true. But this is actually what the Giulio Cesare looked like originally. So there were three ships in the Conte de Cavour class. Conte de Cavour, Giulio Cesare, and all, there was another one called Leonardo da Vinci. Then Leonardo da Vinci only lasted like two years and it blew up in the harbor. No one really knows what happened. It was kind of like the USS Maine incident. But yeah, it just blew up in the harbor and that was the end of that. But... The Conte de Cavour and the Giulio Cesare both received refits where they were modernized to look like this. So basically what happened is obviously they added more modern stacks and better AA and secondaries and stuff like that. But basically, as you can see, the main thing is they removed the center triple turret that you see on the Conte de Cavour. And they also made the guns larger by boring them out. So they were 305 millimeter on the... Uh, original decavor and then on here they are 320 which i i don't know if you know about boring out tell me down below in the comments i think it's where they like make the barrels a little bit less thick to make them bigger but i have no clue really i've never really researched that so tell me if you know and then also they added more modern secondaries and double turrets like that instead of the decavors single ones that are built into the hull but yeah, those are the modernization. So let's compare those two first of all because they're obviously sister ships, just at different stages in their career. Obviously, the Conte de Cavour doesn't get any ship skills. The Cesare gets two precise aim ones. And as you can see, actually, the Conte de Cavour gets SAP, obviously, like all the tech tree Italian battleships. But the Cesare actually doesn't get SAP, it gets HE instead. So it's one of the few Italian battleships that can't fire SAP out of its main guns. The others being Roma, which gets HE as well. And then I think the, the more, more recent Tier 9 Premium Guisi Verdi can't fire SAP from the main guns. It can do secondaries. But yeah, okay, so let's see what the, these comparisons are like. So uh, actually it says Cesare was built before Conte de Cavour. I don't know if that's historically accurate. I don't think it is, because usually the lead ship of the class leads the class, but um, that's what they say here. I have like, Obviously, Cesare gets more hit points, because it's after a refit, so it's going to be better. Better damage reduction, so a bit, little bit better armor. Cesare is much faster than Conte de Cavour, as well as having 
great maneuverability. Uh, Decav War has better acceleration. But yeah, this is something you're going to notice with Chase that it's very maneuverable. It almost has like a cruiser's turn time. So it's really, it's really fun because you can avoid torpedoes a lot, which is very useful. As you, like I said, the guns are the exact same as on the uh, Conte de Cavour. Actually, I think the Conte de Cavour, well, it says the Conte de Cavours are from 1909. The Cesares are from 1934, which I think is when they were modernized. But it says that the Conte de Cavour has the L46 caliber, so the L46, I don't really know what the L means, but anyways, they bored out the guns, so they're that's why they're bigger. And then they removed the center turret, so that's why it doesn't have an extra triple one. So, re reload is better on the Giulio Cesare. Uh, range is actually better on the Conte de Cavour, but it's not too much better. Uh, AP damage is much better on the Cesare, and turret traverse speed is better. But like I said, as you can see, there's no SAP on the Cesare, and uh, it gets HE instead. The secondaries are... Like I showed you, six double turrets of 120 millimeter, so three of them on each side, which isn't too bad. It doesn't get any auto secondaries. Um, they're kind of similar to the Decavor secondaries, except Decavor has single ones built into the hull, and they're Vickers ones on the Conte de Cavor, and much older. The AA on the Cesare, I mean, it's better than the Cavour, but I don't know if you can even call that better. It's just there. That's what it is. The concealment is pretty bad, actually, on the Cesare. It's actually better on the Conte de Cavour. So, yeah, that's how those two compare. Now, I think I might want to compare it with the Andrea Doria, just to see what it'll look like. Because, actually, a uh, quick historic fact, maybe eventually I'll review the tech tree of Italian battleships, too, but... Andrea Doria actually originally looked like this herself too before they modernized her to look like this. So let's go ahead and compare the Cesare with this real quick just to see how it stacks up against the next tier. Obviously, Andrea gets the uh, fuel smoke like the tech line does. Obviously, Andrea has more hit points and better armor because it's a tier ahead. Um. Andrea has better acceleration and traverse speed, but Cesare is still more maneuverable, which is pretty crazy. They have the same speed. They actually have very, very similar guns, uh, except that I think Cesare's are like two years older. Yeah, they're two years older. But yeah, they're very, very similar guns. So Cesare actually has the better reload time. Uh, Andrea has better range, obviously, and Andrea gets the SAP instead of the HE. Uh, Andrea actually does more H AP damage, but not that much more, actually, which is, which is why I think Cesare is so OP at the tier that it is, because it gets just about as much a AP damage as a Andrea does at tier 7, I mean tier 6, so this can, this ship can probably hold her own in tier 6 battles. As far as the secondaries, Andrea's are actually bigger, so these are not similar secondaries at all. But Andrea's and Andrea has the uh, four triple turret setup that the tech line has after tier five, and better range obviously, better damage. Uh, Cesare doesn't get any auto secondaries, and the Andrea's uh, AA is somewhat better. I mean, two more on the large caliber, and the small caliber is significantly better a little bit. But yeah, which actually it's weird because Andrea actually somehow has a better concealment than Cesare, which doesn't make any sense to me because it's a tier ahead, so it, you'd think it'd be bigger, and it is bigger, I think, but that's just uh, how it is, I guess. So, as far as, uh, first of all, elite bonus, there's torpedo defense system and battleship modernization. Uh, I just chose battleship modernization because the torpedo defense system isn't very good on this thing from the start. It's only like 11%, which is actually pretty bad for an... I think stock is 10%, because and that's pretty bad for an Italian battleship. To give you reference, uh, I don't think the Decavor has much better. Yeah, it's the same here, um, only 10.50. But it was actually after they designed that... There was this design that the Italians had. Let's see how... See, even the Francesco Carrucciolo only has 
um, 10.50. But the Italians designed this torpedo defense system. It was like a cylinder with with water and oil in it or something like that along the middle of the ship so that when the torpedo hit it, they hoped that that fluid would absorb the impact. Yeah, see here on Vittorio Veneto, Veneto the torpedo damage reduction goes from 10% to 27%. So this is where they started designing that here. And then obviously Lepanto and Cristoforo have that, but that's where they started designing it. So that, that new defense system hadn't come yet. So since it's not very much there, I just chose Battleship Modernization. It's it's useful to have more hit points. AA basically isn't there. But yeah, the hit points is basically what I went with that for. As far as camouflage, the historical camo gives you better hit points, uh, better range, better shell dispersion, and better torpedo damage reduction. Or no, it actually makes your shell dispersion worse, which... I don't know why you'd want that, but I guess it gives you more hit points and range. Torpedo damage reduction, we're not really, we don't really care about here. And so I guess we're just going to be rolling with the Lunar near New Year camouflage because that's what's around right now and it gives you some good stuff too. As far as battle honors, obviously the first one is just you play five battles, you get some boosters and money. Second one is you get, you destroy two battleships, you get some um, resources for the shipyard. Yeah, it actually says this was the lead ship of the De Cavour class, but it doesn't make sense because you'd think Conte de Cavour would be, but... Um, and it says the additional torpedo protection was added in the refit, which I kind of doubt because I don't see much here. Um, and considerably more speed, that's true, making her a four-minute... Okay, well, yeah. So that's that. Let's go ahead and look at the equipment I put on real quick. So... I have the main battery mod 2 in so that I can get better reload in the main battery because it's always good to have that. On the 2, on second one, I have steering gear because this is just acceleration. And, I mean, it's not the best at acceleration, but I think I'd rather put as much maneuverability in as I can. And the uh, fire and flooding resistance is already pretty decent. And slot 3, I have Propulsion Mod 2, because I always, I usually always take this on most ships, on most battleships especially, because I like going faster. So that's why, I mean, I could have taken Steering Gear Mod 2, but I liked that, I guess. As far as Commander, uh, obviously Torpedo Defense, I mean, Underwater Protection Expert, first one. Second one, you go with uh, Torpedo Alert, because... Yeah, on third one, I went with damage control kit cooldown minus because uh, this is only first 40 seconds of the battle, and this is only when you have more than 75% hit points. Uh, slot four, obviously, we always go with victorious charge pretty much on anything, unless you have a defensive AA skill, which this thing doesn't, and you don't get Kraken Unleashed very much. Uh, slot five, I'm probably going to go with you could get an extra precise aiming system with fire supremacy, but I don't really use them too much because the dispersion isn't too bad on this thing. And you could go with steering gear, but that's only when your ship has less than 33%. So I'm probably going to go with this, honestly. Uh, slot 6. Uh, not recon surveillance is useless. Probably... I, it'd either be between generalist and exploit weakness, probably more generalist, because I don't really fire HE that much, except with the secondaries, obviously, and we don't have torpedoes, so, yeah. Slot 7, probably might go with marksman, honestly, that's useless, but, uh, I mean, it's nice to get less damage con kit, I mean, not damage con, um, repair kit cooldown, but... Marksman would be nice to give us longer precise aiming. Yeah, I probably will go with Marksman because I kind of get tired of how this ship performs with, you know, the the precise aiming just doesn't last long enough to give you two salvos with it. It only gives you one, so I'm probably going to go with that. Uh, slot 8, definitely. Probably Extinguisher because... We don't have smoke, and adrenaline rush is uh, only when you have less than 70, 25%. Um, slot 9, probably, yeah, demolition expert, because the other two aren't, aren't really useful on this ship. Uh, slot 10, 
probably uh, damage taken from flooding because you don't get metals that often. Slot 11, obviously we're going to go with APCS because I barely ever fire HE in this thing. Uh, we're not a carrier, and uh, APCS is pretty useful because, yeah, th this thing has really good AP. Slot 11... I don't know, okay, I'm kind of tempted between Citadel Strike and Horizontal Protection Expert. Um, I don't know, I might go with... I'm really not sure here. Probably more protect Horizontal, I don't know, I'll, I'll see when I get to it. But yeah, both of these things here are very, very useful for this ship, I'd say. So, by the way, I don't know why he's. it says he's still on the Dante Alighieri, because I didn't think that you could have a uh, commander on two ships unless they were on the same tier, and this is five and the Dante is four, so that's kind of uh, interesting. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into a battle real quick, so I can show you guys what this thing is capable of doing. Okay, so we are playing base capture on Scorching Islands. On the other team, we have a, on the enemy team, there's a Bogue, Koenig, Bot Congo, Pensacola, Bot Pensacola, Yahagi, Harats, Hatsaru, Hatsuru, Haru, and a Bot Fubuki, which, sorry, I cannot pronounce that very well. Um, And on our team, we have a Bogue, a Bot New Mexico, New York, me, obviously, Bot Alba, uh, Acosta, and Bot Nicholas. Why is he saying that? Okay, well. I want to. I want to. Kind of want everyone to group up real quick. Okay, here comes the aircraft. I don't think they're coming for me though. But yeah, th this thing's AA is quite dreadful, honestly. Because, all right, there's a bot Fubuki, honestly. But yeah, since this thing doesn't have HE, I mean SAP, like normal Italian battleships, it's a little bit harder to take on destroyers. You got to switch to the HE like you would in the ship. So shots out at the Yahagi. I didn't lead him enough. Oh, there's a, a nice citadel, though. The Yahagi's a light cruiser, so it doesn't have much armor. Um, yeah. He's turning away, I think. Yeah. Okay, so, is the Fabuki in range? No, he's not. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put the AP on the combo. Do much against the Fubuki. He is in secondary range now. So your secondaries, honestly, they're not gonna do oh, okay, he's already dead. Anyways, they're not gonna do much against like a a battleship, really. They're gonna do more against a more of like a destroyer they're there to help along with. I don't know why it lagged there a little bit, but he should be dead because he's not. Ow, that hurt. I think that was the, uh... Koenig? Yeah. Yeah, the aircraft... No, they're not coming for me. Okay, good. Did we kill that bot battleship? Yeah, there's his tower going down. Okay, I'm gonna get behind this island. I really don't want to be... Okay, there comes the Yahagi, so full reverse. Let's see what we can do to this guy at closer range. Well, I mean, some full pens. I wasn't... I would like it to be. Oh, that Koenig's gonna get another shot at us, isn't he? Okay, I just heard the Yahagi launch, I think. The Yahagi only has four torps, though, so it's not the most deadly thing. I might have overshot him a little. Yeah, I overshot him a little bit. Oh, he... How did he launch eight of those? I didn't even see him turn. Maybe he did. Yeah, this thing is very reliable, torpedo dodging. Do dodging, sorry. Talk, okay, so 
that Yahagi, if I can only get a good shot at him, he'd be dead. I think we might have lost this, though, because our team has been dying. Um, as you can see, look how good this turn time is. It's crazy good. Okay, he's over there. We're going to use a precise aim. Uh, that was kind of disappointing, honestly. Oh, there's actually some... There's actually people over here in our base. The hot Saharu, I think, is dead because... Just look what's uh, hitting him over there. I don't know what... Oh, what? He just took out our Acosta with Torps. Wow. Come on, Acosta. You need to do better than that. Okay, I should be able to take out this Pensacola, hopefully. How did I only get one hey, shot? Hey, you don't see him that's very disappointing. I mean, I guess it is a heavy cruiser. So. This guy's almost dead. My rear turrets are gonna reload before my front ones traverse around. Wait, they actually did. One of them. I got him. Uh, I'm gonna watch out for this Katsuharu here. Probably has instant torpedo reload booster. I'm, I'm not really familiar with the gunboat Japanese destroyers too much. Um, how did that not take it? Okay, he launched some torps. Not too many though. What? Wow, his torps are crazy. Like I said, I'm not very familiar with the Japanese gunboat destroyers. All we got left is a bot. So I have no clue uh, what I'm talking about there. But that was three torpedoes. How did he take me out with three? Unless there was some glitch where the game just didn't show all of them. Those are crazy torpedoes because I've never seen three torpedoes. Like, I mean, sure, I was kind of low, but I was at least, I had some health still at least. Well, I still got MVP, but we lost. Well, let's do another one. Hopefully we could win. I don't know why we couldn't. We literally had a better team than them. Our team was not very good there. They were really bad, in fact, because we could have won that. I mean, it wasn't too hard probably to win, but our team just couldn't do it. Okay, let's try again. Okay, in the enemy team, there's a Bot Zuiho, Durflinger, Corbet, Isazushi, Bot Wyoming, Double Bot Wyoming, and a Svetlana. Um, so let's go. Our team actually looks pretty good. I always wait to announce who's on our team until we're in the battle, so I don't, because it might not. I might not be able to do that. Finish up the announcement on the loading screen before it. Just cool. We have. Obviously, bot Zuiho. We have a New York, a Black Congo, me, a bot New York, bot Wyoming, and a Matsuki. So, we actually have a pretty good battleship unit with a Black Congo and a uh, Julio Cesare, as well as we have a New York, too. Looks like the Black Congo's AFK. Hopefully, he comes soon, because... Come Come on, Black Congo, you're our other good battleship. We need you. He apparently just does not want to come. I'm going to probably go... I'm going to probably stay around the middle, but maybe go somewhat right flank, because I like to have my guns pointing left. It's... What? Wow, he majorly... Okay, there's a sweet Lana. Shots out of him. But he majorly lagged. He looked like he was... Yeah. That's actually kind of... I turned too far. Anyways, he majorly lagged, though. He looked like he was just sitting there and then all of a sudden just disappeared and lagged so Take far ahead. I don't know what was happening there, but it's also kind of unrealistic in this game where AA shots can go through mountains and still work. But anyways, uh, we're not here to talk about that. Okay, there's the Deathlinger. Shots out of that thing. Uh, not too bad. Let me slow down a little bit. That's our bot. That was most definitely Sweet Lana shots. Okay. Maybe we can get another. 
No, see, that's what I mean. You can only get one salvo off with precise aim. That's why I want to get the marksman ability so I can have the precise aim for longer. Um, there's a corbet. Those things are not the best, I don't think, so. Uh, wait for our guns to reload. Shots out. Okay, he's firing. Take it Pretty in, decent. Enter. Got a module. I'm gonna kite away a bit because. Yeah, I'm getting. Damn it. I don't know what happened to that bot there. I think they took him out. There was like. Uh, there was a bot Wyoming here a second ago. I think they took him out. Because he was really low health. Okay, decent, decent. I think the Corbet might be focused on the bot now, so that's good. I can maybe help take him out with that. Also, their base is not guarded very well right now at all, except for that one Corbet. So if we can take him out, we can probably get into their base. Which, that's another thing this thing has is pretty decent reload times. Okay, good. The Black Congo is somewhat defending our base. So that's a bot. That's a Sweet Lana, but I think he's coming back here. You know what? Let's just try and take out the bot. Oh, why not? Never mind, the Black Congo did it. I always hate that when... I don't really mind them kill-stealing, really. Especially there, I didn't really mind. The thing I hated about it was that he wasted, like, an entire one of my salvos, which was really annoying, because uh, I kind of need those, too. There's the Kobe. I think we can take him out, yeah. Goodbye, Corbet. I don't like the look of that Ice Azushi. I'm gonna turn away because, especially with that Sweet Lana there too. Oh yeah, that that uh, carrier is really dead. There might be Sweet Lana torps in the water. I'm not sure. At least the Ice. Is Why is he firing at me? He has so many little targets around here. Okay, well, I'll fire at you. Some more modules. Just secondaries, though. Okay, that's feet long and to die. I'm getting tired of him. Yeah, this thing has... I wish this thing was so much so I could see the corpse. Hello, Mr. Speetlana. Eat that. Okay, there's his corpse. I'm probably going to have to take some of those. Uh, I can try to turn. So, two of them. Not too bad. Didn't cost too much. Oh, they did just fine, I guess. Uh, I might. Okay, the Ice Azushi needs to die. Okay, goodbye, Speed Lana. And they got the Ice Azushi, so yes, we won. That was really close, though, because I was really low health. And I took the MVP again. So, yeah, that's what the Giulio Cesare can do, and that was a lower tier battle. Uh, I wish I could show you guys the tier 6 game, because even in those, the Cesare can still uh, hold its own, kind of, but... Yeah, that'll probably be about it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys this because I recently got it. As far as the reviews coming up in the future, look for a DeGrasse review soon because, um, yeah, that's one of my other premium ships. Also, I might do a Chungking review because the uh, Pan Asian Cruiser line is coming out. The Black Byron I still need to do a review on. The Exeter I need to. And the U-Body. And then after that, we'll start doing, like, uh, regular tech tree ships. I want to do the... Uh, the Italian battleship line soon, because it's a pretty cool uh, battleship line. I'm currently at tier 9, Lepanto. The Cristoforo is calling my name, though. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, turn on notifications so you get notifications on all my newest videos. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week in the next one.